All right, guys, let's check out a Christopher Ward that really doesn't get a ton of attention. And it's a smaller 38 millimeter case that is also the light catcher case. So it has all those really nice lines to it and features with the quick release bracelet and awesome clasp. It's the modern, you know, Christopher Ward that you're going to see typically on their website as of today, snapshot in time. You know, this is where, you know, October of 2020 basically is where we're at today. So I did just look on their website though and I noticed there's some other C65 variants very similar to this but more military inspired. I just wanted to share this nugget of information and for everybody that's complaining about the Christopher Ward over on the 9 which some people like it I kind of dig it. They have some newer models it looks like they're newer maybe not where the Christopher Ward branding is just below the 12, and then they have Arabics around there. So it's basically the same watch. It, I think it's called the Sandhurst, and uh, but with Arabics, a more military vibe to it. But the Christopher Ward branding is up there uh, just below the 12. So I'll put a link to Christopher Ward's website in the description. Feel free to browse it. Check it out. Um, you know, maybe there's something there you like. Let's talk about this one, though. I blabbed about it. A watch that I don't have. Let's talk about this one. So this is, uh, first of all, thanks to Ben for sending this in. So awesome. I 100% count on people basically sending in watches in case you didn't know. I don't own any of these watches or most of them. So Ben sent this in for us to check out. So mad props, man. Ben, it's awesome. 38 millimeter case, 43 0.75 lug to lug really nice short lug to lug this thing is going to wear great on smaller wrist or larger wrist if you prefer a smaller watch this is going to do it 11.95 thick so just under that 12 millimeter thickness but that's including this slightly boxed and double domed sapphire crystal with ar coating 20 millimeter lug width bracelet tapers down to 18 the christopher ward light catcher cases with their you know really nicely done bracelet and clasp system there's nothing more you could change here. I think maybe some people would say screwed links, I guess. But this is still going to use the pin and collar where the collar is captured in the center. And it's a really long tube collar. It's super secure and very long lasting. You're not going to have any issues with it once you get it sized. And Christopher Ward offers, I think it's like 10 pounds. They, they put everything in pounds. So you'd have to convert it to US dollars if you're... In the USA, whatever. Um, anyway, they will charge a small fee and that will size the bracelet for you. So if you don't have the tools or the know-how or you don't want to like chance poking yourself with a spring bar tool, which hurts, um, you know, or potentially scratch your bracelet or watch or something, then just measure your wrist, throw them a couple bucks, have them send it to you. That way, uh, have them send it to you size. That way, when you open it up, it can go right on wrist. So I think it's a good feature. Seven millimeter crown on this. This is uh, also engraved with the uh, flag, Christopher Ward flag motif. This is a push pull crown. So it's still 150 meter water resist, but it's a push pull crown and it's using the Salida SW200 movement. So you're going to hack it and then you can adjust the time and the date and all that good stuff like you would at any other watch. But in the pushed in position, which is where you would typically wear it, you can also wind it nice and easy. So, and it has nice coin, plenty of grip with a 7 mil crown, too. Um, also, black date wheel helps balance out the dial, or as much as you can with the huge Christopher Ward over there at 9 o'clock. I get it, guys, I get it. Uh, but in case you're wondering, yes, the flag is embossed down into the dial up there at near the 12 o'clock. So, pretty simple dial, really, overall. Awesome watch. Nicely done case back, as they do with all of them. They're using the, the faux patina like loom here. It's a uh, super luminova old radium loom. So we'll do a loom shot at the end. Price tag on this, I did the conversion for you. And I think I did this right. Again, snapshot in time because conversions can change. But this thing is like $1,090. So... Quite the price tag, and there's going to be that import tax coming in as well. So, you know, factor that in as well. So, uh, great watches, but, you know, I don't know what really, I mean, you guys will chime in and tell me what competes with it, but 
there are a bunch of models in the Christopher Ward lineup that there really isn't a ton of competition in. And I think this might be one of them, the 38 mil, you know, style light catcher watch with an excellent bracelet. I don't know offhand like what really competes with it because it is so well constructed and um, it's just a great piece. So let me pop this on wrist. I was wearing my Omega as I will be wearing it for the entire month of October of 2020. Unless, I don't know, I don't know what could possibly happen that would make it so I don't wear it. But here is the watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Has a nice feel to it. For a smaller watch, it has a nice, uh, just the right amount of weight to it that you can still feel it on wrist. All of that information, weight and everything will be in the, um, the link down, down below if you want to click on that and you can check it out yourself. But feels good, looks good. I like Christopher Ward watches, guys. Um, I'm kind of bummed out. The, I guess my biggest gripe, well, I have a few gripes. I know you guys are going to gripe about the Sea Ward over at 9. These light catcher cases, because I know they actually do some of the C65s with screw-down crowns, that's one gripe. Um, and I, I don't mean it because of, like, the water resistance and, like, all that push-pull stuff. I mean it because I was wearing one once, and, you know, you, you can catch things on this and it'll pop. And I did have one that popped open that much or to the date position, and it's just because of how open it is to the case. You can see how, see how it can snag and stuff like that. That's why I kind of gripe about it a little bit. You know, I wish that was a screw-down crown, and I think... Potentially in the future, they will do that. You know, I think they're slowly listening to us. They're doing some changes. So, um, you know, and then the Christopher Ward will probably be moved up to the 12, guys. Um, I'm starting to see it more and more in some of the newer models. I suspect they'll do it across the lineup. They just have to do it at their pace. They probably bought a ton of dials, and they have to, I mean, they can't just throw them in the bin, right? They, they have capital invested into them. So uh, give them time, but I suspect that will probably occur over time. Uh, what other? Oh, my biggest gripe. Here it is. And that, Chris Ford, I know you're listening and you've certainly watched the video almost to seven and a half minutes at this point, right? Get an authorized dealer in the United States. Please. Why has this not happened? I'm sure there's a ton of money and ton of logistics involved, but there's also people in play that could help that happen a little more seamless and a little easier than you think. There's in my opinion, there's really no legitimate reason why there's not an authorized dealer in the United States for Christopher Ward. Please make that happen. All right. I griped enough. Let's kill the lights. Let's check out what this old radium loom can do. Hey, not bad. Has a nice green glow to it. I am kind of impressed. I didn't think it would be that good. That's pretty good for old radium loom. It's usually... Um, a little weaker, but you know, Christopher Ward has definitely stepped their game up even with the, you know, the old radium loom, obviously, but like some of their other loom that they have, their loom on their watches are, is very good. So, all right, guys, that's it. I'll catch you on the next vid.